Yeah, our uh, banana plants have been really struggling this year, so I'm going to give them extra water. That's why I can get them back in line. They actually get so skinny they fall over and die, so I'm going to cut them. Cut some of them. The ones that are doing really poorly. This one I got to cut. It's doing real bad. These ones are doing real poor too. I'm going to have to cut them down. I'm going to get some water on them too. Let them sit tomorrow. See how they look Monday. Well, there's manure on them, so. Yeah, these uh, bananas we planted about it. Uh, 14 months ago, so we have got a couple of hands out of them. There's one hand up there and one over there. Uh, a couple of hands we've already harvested, but that's it. So, got to baby them in the dry time here so they make it to the rainy time and start taking off again, making us lots of fruit. Okay, I've got to get this hose around this plant here because really hindering it and I don't want to damage the split. This guy watered down good. Now somebody told me to ask to get the name up, go back and check. But I wasn't speaking loud enough, so I'm gonna have to try and talk louder so you guys can hear what I'm saying. But you can uh, read uh, down below, you can put uh, English for uh, subtitles, and at least you can see the subtitles of the videos. So maybe some machine's running in the background, or maybe I'm just not talking loud enough. Whatever happens. Some people have informed me that it's not going so good with hearing me, so I'll try and speak a little bit louder and clearer and, and uh, get these, uh, these are just uh, finger bananas, they're the smaller bananas over here, but, but they still desperately need some more water, so they're really struggling. Over here's all the Cuban bananas. That someone actually brought some suckers from Cuba and gave them to an uncle of ours, and, and he gave us uh, 30, 36 actually, a few have died. And that was exactly a year ago, so you can see how, how they're struggling too. They should be getting fruit in eight to nine months, or seven to eight months, the Cuban ones. But they're really struggling. That's okay. <coughs> <coughs> Let them get good and rooted in. Good and rooted in, and then we can start harvesting the pups because I noticed some of them are getting a lot of pups, which is a really good thing. Some of those Cubans. A lot of pups I noticed. This one has one, this one has one, this one has one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and 
and uh, one. So they're getting tough, so we can expand the crop pretty pretty shortly here. And just when the rains start, we'll expand the crop. To get this kink out of the hose, of course, we'll get more water flow up here. See if I can get this around and give some of the fruit trees some water too. This one is the uh, sugar apple. And uh, it went through a big struggle, lost all its leaves, it got so dry. But the leaves are coming back now, and that's a good thing. And this is the uh, tomatoes with the husk over them. Uh, tomatillos. There's a papaya here that struggled and probably died. <coughs> and I'm going to have to extend that food some more. Get over the, the other fruit trees I can show you. We got a nice granite apple from Turkey. It's a deep purple. <coughs> <coughs> fruit in it. When they do <coughs> excuse me. When they do fruit. Hopefully I can reach it now. This one was an air layered nonco, which is a jackfruit. I'm going to keep watering it, hoping that maybe somehow it makes it. I don't think there's much hope for it though. The... Looks pretty dry in there. Well, there's some green, sort of. Uh, we'll just leave it. Leave it with some extra water. Hopefully it'll throw some leaves out again. It's a lot of work to get that thing air layered. And this is the... Uh, Turkish granite apple. So, uh, and it's, uh, oh, it's okay except this guy eating the top. This is, uh, I forget what you call them. It's the type of worm that builds a house. Let me just look at this. This is too dry. Maybe the top has died off. So this side certainly seems to have died off. Well, there's still hope, and there's hope. All else fails, count on your hope if nothing else. You're supposed to hope anyhow. The hope is just coming. So let's see if I can reach this uh, banana in the corner now. <coughs> Gonna have to put some pressure on the hose, which means it may just this, this rotate, but I better get water on this stuff. Water on this guy. Got him grow, get like a pup. Guy's getting pups over here, so give him a bit extra water and a fruit. We'll give it some support before it blows over in the wind or something. This one here's got lots of pups. Big pups too. <coughs> As soon as the sun touches the top of the trees, we're going to lose our water because it's all from sun panel. So I'll drag this back because the olive tree, there was two and one died. I showed you last week or a few days ago. Just saw yesterday there's some, uh, Tarani saw there's some uh, 
actual leaves generating on the thing. Starting to shoot out of the thing. So there's always hope. Lo and behold, <coughs> we're going to get a tree out of it. This thing looks completely dead. Kind of wrote it off. Oops, broke my hose. Wrote it off as dead. And lo and behold, look at, look at the growth in the bottom here. Here, 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 all the way up this, this one is growing. And somehow this part of it survived and uh, this little one is took right away but, uh, this one survives so keep the water going to it and our big olives I'll see if I can stretch the hose this far get this one watered too 